Design, and today we're finally solving one thing that's been driving me crazy with Notion, and that's how to have an hourly schedule in Notion without having to hand create it every day um, or jump through hoops. And I finally figured it out, and I'm in the process of doing this for all the databases in my uh, Etsy shop. So um, if you're watching this tutorial and it's not there yet, it's on its way. Um, but this is how I've now got it set up. So um, in most of my databases, I have this view right today, tomorrow, and I have a calendar view right here. And what I finally figured out was how to get the hours to go in without using the clunky way that um, Notion does it. Um, so currently when you're in Notion, when you pick the date, you have to include the time and it just makes the date field very, very long. So if I include the time, you know, it, when you're in there, it just makes the date look very lo long and ugly. And you have to remember to do this and I just... It drives me nuts. I don't like doing it. So what I did now is I created a new field called the hour field. And let's make it life easier and just drag it right there. Um, so when you pick the date, so you go into the calendar, you pick the day that you're going to do something. But now you have an hour um, feature. And this is a multi-select. So it allows you to have multiple hours. So if you had an appointment that was two hours, you could put both hours up here. So if you're working with clients and they have a two hour appointment, um, it's very easy for you to put the two hours in there versus a the one hour. And what you would do is just pick the time and I have them color coded. You can color code them any way that makes sense for you. I have it set up for like a standard work day of nine to five with your last appointment being a four and then five, six, seven, eight being kind of after work, six, seven, eight being before work. But again, you're gonna change this any way you want. You can use the, um, the three dots to choose the colors that you want. And I like to have it visually so I can kind of see how the day shapes up but you don't have to do it that way. You can make them all the same color, you can make them all different colors, whatever you want. You could also do it by the half hour. So if I wanted to do um, 12.30 and have, if I scheduled in half hour increments, I could do that. And so now you see there's a new time called 12.30 and if you drag it, this is the order that it's going to sort in. So when we're talking about the sort feature, this is how you want things. It, whatever they are showing in this view is how they're going to sort when you go into sort view. So I'm just gonna delete that one because I don't want it. Um, but that just shows you how it, very easy it is to assign the days and to customize this. So if you never schedule appointments at 6 a.m., just delete that. You'll never have to see it. Um, so, so once you've got it done for that time frame, you'll see here's that appointment at 12 o'clock. Now, if I changed his appointment to, say, 3 o'clock, and we got rid of the 12 o'clock, you would see he automatically moved down in the list, right? So it's going to keep these in date order because I've got a sort turned on that says keep things in that order, in the time order. So if I move him back and I move him back now to say to 10 a.m. Oops, I don't want to keep both times. 10 a.m. Now you'll see he's moved back to the top. So I love that. And then I have these categories before work, uh, during the work day and after work. So where do those fit in? So if I look back on here and now we have the time block, so let's put it here. So you would just assign them to whatever, and you can again, name these, whatever makes sense for you after work, the work day, before work. Um, let's put these in the order that we'd want to sort them in in a normal sense. So now you can see how they are. You can color code them. So if you want after work to be blue, you want before work to stay yellow, and you want the work day to be green, you know, whatever. That's completely up to you um, how you want to do that. But now you can see if I assign them, let's just for um, making a mistake, let's put it in before work. And you'll see how he jumped over to the before work section. And now if I put him in the work day, he jumps back to where he should be in the work day section. So the way that it's set up, it's going to sort by this category, whatever you call each of these things. And then it's going to sort by time within those categories. So I just love how that works. And then you also have, remember we have over here, we have those kind of sometime soon things. Let's duplicate this. Let's have a random task. Let's not get the caps lock on. Random task. So let's say this random task, it's been sitting over here and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to do it after work on my way home. I can drag it over here and just drop it into after work. And now it's going to show up where it should be. So if I look in this, it's now been assigned the time block after work. And if I want to actually give it a, an hour, I could do that. And now I can see that I'm going to do this random task after work at 6 p.m. So I just love that you can drag these sometime soon into your calendar. And now they're functional. So you can see down here, there's your um, calendar and it's showing you the time so you can see and let's just make sure I didn't have the sort turned on look at that we want to sort by the hour and now it is sorted by the hour 10 or 1 o'clock so you can see your day so now you can plan pretty far out and have a really good sense of how the hours are going to fit so that you don't double book yourself so when I'm adding something new I can see I have something at 10 
and something at one. So I can book something at noon. I can book something at 11, uh, depending on your schedule is. So it's very easy for you to now add um, things to your calendar in an hourly sense without having to use that kind of extra clunky version that um, Notion has. So I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and um, I'm going to add it to all my databases. So I hope you enjoy it. Take care.